Good morning and good afternoon, and thank you for attending today's webinar, Stop Wire Fraud. My name is Alexa Sevilla, and I'm the Director of Digital Marketing here at Guardian Analytics, and I will be your moderator. This webinar will be recorded and available to you in the next few days. As far as questions, we will answer as time permits, and please use the question box on the right-hand side of the GoToWebinar panel. I'm happy to have with us Lorinda Garms, Account Executive here at Guardian Analytics, and Anand Sereka, our Senior Sales Engineer. And with that, I'd like to pass the presentation over to Lorinda. Thank you, Alexa. So, hello everybody. Um, as mentioned, my name is Lorinda Garms. I'm an Account Executive here at Guardian Analytics. And today, I prepared about a dozen slides in addition to a quick demo. At the end of the meeting, you should have a much better understanding of who we are and what we do and how our behavior-based anomaly detection wire solution will provide added value for your organization. It's no secret that fraud is an expanding problem across all banking channels, and wire fraud seems to prove itself time and time again to be the preferred crime of choice for fraudsters. Nearly every week, a new headline is released educating the world about another wire attack. In an effort to address these attacks, it is, it is just piled on top of a long laundry list of to-do items for financial institutions to complete. As you are aware, financial institutions are faced daily with the challenge of detecting fraudulent wires, reining in operational costs, and streamlining transaction processing to improve customer service and competitiveness. To solve this problem historically, most financial institutions rely on time-consuming manual reviews or manage a high amount of false positives from rules-based transaction monitoring solutions. All the while, financial institutions and their customers are getting fooled by different types of attacks that continue to evolve. To that point, fraudsters are intelligent, savvy, and continuously evolving their schemes. One consistency we found is that fraudsters are not discriminating against the type of a customer they attack. Even big companies are getting caught too, such as Mattel. Can you imagine if Mattel was your customer? The attack that seems to continue to surface over and over again is the bank email compromise attack, also known as BEC. Within one year, the FBI has released three public service announcements warning of the increasing escalation in BEC fraud attacks. Since the FBI first alerted of this scam in June of 2015, there has been over a 1,300% increase in victims affected and 436% increase in funds lost in the United States alone. The BEC scam continues to prove time and time again as a revenue generating type of attack for fraudsters. We have to find a way to recognize the anomalous behavior before the money leaves the financial institution. Thankfully, Guardian Analytics is here to solve that problem. Guardian Analytics has been in business for over 10 years with a couple patents on our technology. We have over 400 customers, protecting over 40 million account holders, and over 5 billion banking activities. And we are Fiserv's strategic partner of choice. Through our relationship with Fiserv, Guardian Analytics Wire successfully is protecting wire exchange customers today. We have proven real-time integration with wire exchange. With this tight integration, we have access to more data, in turn providing stronger risk analysis. Over 50 wire exchange customers have already signed, and over 35 are in production. The rest are in various stages of implementation. Our implementation teams are experienced. The process is now streamlined. Customers are now going live within 30 days from signing. As a matter of fact, your financial institution doesn't need to plan for any heavy lifting to get this product live. Customers tell us they're surprised that this implementation is a lot less work than they anticipated. Consequently, you can easily implement Guardian Analytics Wire in tandem with any already planned projects. Recently, we posted a news release highlighting the power of Guardian Analytics Wire. This article was picked up by about a dozen pub publications such as MarketWatch, 
Miami Herald, and New York Business Journal. And if this isn't enough to assure you that this product works, then let, let our customers do the convincing. Today our customer, our, excuse me, today our Guardian Analytics wire customers range from community banks to regional banks to national banks to credit unions. They range from various sizes in assets and wire volumes. Here are testimonials from four customers. First, a regional bank with about 2,500 wires per month reported that in just the first three weeks of using Guardian Analytics real-time wire, they prevented four fraudulent wires totaling over $21,000. Next, a community bank with 500 wires per month noted that with Guardian Analytics real-time wire, they were able to eliminate over 90% of their workflow for reviewing and processing wire transfers. A credit union with about 1,000 wires per month celebrated Guardian Analytics for stopping $160,000 in fraud. And lastly, but certainly not least, a national bank with 83,000 wires per month testified that in just two months, Guardian Analytics prevented $19 million in BEC fraud. In addition to a hard dollar value ROI, there are soft dollar evaluations to consider too, such as its operational efficiency. With Guardian Analytics Wire, the real-time integration eliminates delays in risk scoring and decision making. It reduces callbacks, removes the need for rules-based limits or processes. Automated intervention reduces manual reviews with auto holds of high-risk wires and auto release of low-risk wires. A streamlined wire workflow enables a more efficiently and effectively managed wire queue. The dashboards and case management provide easy access for investigation resolution, reporting, and auditing. And Guardian Analytics Wire also protects 100% of your customers from day one. There is no need for customer educational sessions or enforcement of adoption. It's protecting all of your customers behind the scenes without their awareness or involvement. And to that point, there are no rules to write or algorithms to train or scenarios to manage. The solution is dynamically updating without any assistance. Here's how it works. As soon as the outgoing or incoming domestic or international wire gets into Pfizer Wire Exchange and after the OFAC check, Wire Exchange sends wire data to Guardian Analytics for real time risk scoring. Guardian Analytics then risk scores the wires. High and medium risk wires are held in the system. Low or normal behavior wires are processed as per your normal wire exchange wire process as far as additional reviews, release, etc. The best part is you can focus your attention on the few high risk wires and yet all wires are covered. The analyst at your financial institution reviews the more risky prioritized alerts in Guardian Analytics wire. And from within Guardian Analytics, with a simple click, you can release wires to complete processing or cancel the process. Okay, now let's transition over to a quick demo. Okay, first a couple of housekeeping notes. The data that we're looking at today is real data, although it's been anonymized for demonstration purposes. I'm going to present this demo as if I'm a fraud analyst for a financial institution. Okay, let's begin. This is the dashboard where I'll find a summary of risk over any given period of time within my wire department. But most of my time is gonna be spent in this alerts tab. And before I transition to that tab, I wanna make note per, uh, as a point of reference that there were over 1,200 transfers for this day that we're looking at here in the demo. This alerts tab is where I'll spend most of my time reviewing only the alerts that are scored with a high risk score of red or yellow. Note that over 1,200 transfers for the day, only 52 were scored with a risk score of red or yellow. And since this is a behavioral analytics solution, 
it generates a low volume of alerts to review. When an alert is generated, it means that there were enough behavioral changes for that account to generate a high risk wire. I'll start my review with the highest risk score for the day right here. You'll notice that there's a lot of data to look at, but the easiest way to start my review is to hover over the risk factors column. Here I can understand why the wire scored red. So it's telling me that there is an untrusted beneficiary financial institution, an untrusted beneficiary location, an untrusted beneficiary, originated to beneficiary instructions, unusual originator to beneficiary instruction frequency, and unusual originator amount. At this point, I can either call this account to verify whether they can confirm or deny this behavior, or I can research further by looking at the timeline. Now I'm looking at a history of wire behavior just for this account. This isn't my behavior, this isn't your behavior, it's just this account holder's behavioral history of wires. And to understand why this wire scored high for risk, it's best if I open up the risk factor window down here. Here I can see in more detail why this wire scored high for risk. There was a new or infrequent beneficiary financial institution. There was an unusual transaction amount of $3 million for this originator. There was a new or infrequent beneficiary, Rosalia H. A new or infrequent use of originator to beneficiary instructions new or infrequent beneficiary location, and also a potential risk in originator to beneficiary instructions. I can also open up this window for even more insight into that wire file. At this point, I'm gonna reach out to the originator to confirm or deny this behavior. The originator did confirm that this was not their doing and it was in fact a fraudulent wire. Next, there are, there are reporting and case management features inside the solution to help with risk management operations. Okay, that concludes a very high level overview of this demonstration. Hey, Lorenda, if you could uh, go back to the demonstration, could you highlight the fact that uh, you could right click on the same transaction and release or cancel from the same interface? Oh, sorry, yes. Cancel so right there, for everyone's benefit, uh, you can see that there's a cancel and the release uh, uh, option there on this, on this interface. It, this would send a real-time directive to the wire exchange system to uh, essentially cancel or uh, move this uh, further into uh, the processing queue and eventually out to the Fed. Yeah. Go on, Miranda. Okay. Just wanted to okay. highlight that. Thank, thank you. Okay. All right, so now it's time to get certified. Guardian Analytics Platform Certification Course provides the necessary tools to be effective from day one. This course is an easy two and a half hour self-paced online course, and it's a great tool to become a Guardian Analytics Solutions expert. Once completed, we'll send you a beautiful official certificate to hang on your wall. The next step from here is to contact me for more information or schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting. If I'm not the designated executive for your account, then I'll introduce you to the correct Guardian Analytics rep. Lastly, please check us out online. Our website provides additional content such as a downloadable version of our data sheet. And YouTube is a bonus resource whereby a wealth of information is, being, is often being added. Okay, thank you all for your time today. I'm now gonna turn it over to Alexa to wrap up. Thanks, Lorenda. Um, on end, I'll let you take on any questions that have come through. Uh, thanks, Alexa. I have, I'm going to answer some of the generic ones. I think uh, there's a couple of questions uh, around uh, time for uh, risk scoring the, uh, the wires and returning them back. So Guardian typically takes about 200 milliseconds, so it's uh, real time. There is uh, no delay for the green wires and uh, it can generate email alerts for the wires that have been held, the reds and the yellows, and uh, somebody on your team, or the fraud analyst on your team, could get in and release it, uh, or release or cancel that after the analysis. 
we've typically seen a couple of minutes is what it takes for uh, an experienced uh, fraud analyst to work through the alerts. Uh, there's another question on uh, the typical deployment time. I think uh, Lorinda covered that, uh, that it takes uh, typically about uh, 30, uh, the fastest one probably would take 30 days uh, out of the door and you would have that available. On an average, it takes about two months, uh, you know, with some backlog with our professional services team, but two months and you would have uh, that service uh, up and running. I also have a question on the deployment model. Uh, this would be a SaaS-based solution, which means it's uh, hosted and managed completely within the, the Guardian Analytics data center. Uh, we build a real-time integration with the Pfizer, uh, Pfizer's wire exchange system. We get a copy of this wire. We host this information, which makes uh, deployment uh, extremely easy for the bank. The only piece where uh, the financial institution is involved is essentially from a product management perspective and possibly sourcing us the historical data. Uh, the rest of the work is done uh, by turning on that component in wire exchange which would talk to the Guardian system and then Guardian would be involved in, of course, setting up the environment and processing that data. I have one more question coming in. Uh, there's a question, uh, can you uh, determine what wires filter through uh, Guardian? Uh, for instance, if you have a client using dual token authentication, could, uh, could those bypass, bypass the review? Well, we don't uh, recommend that you bypass that review, but you can set up policies or rules uh, within the system to uh, monitor these uh, differently. And irrespective uh, of the risk score, whether it's a red or a green, you could take an action to uh, either release or cancel that wire uh, depending on your preference. So yes, you could set up those policies um, uh, right on the application. We didn't have enough time to go through uh, the details, but you do have that flexibility on the risk application. Oh, I see another one on uh, there's another. Actually, there's another question. Uh, where is the data center for Guardian located? Uh, is, that, uh, is that a disaster uh, backup? Uh, so our primary uh, data center is uh, located in Santa Clara, California, and our uh, DR site is uh, in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. So, um, and we typically have a four, uh, four hour um, uh, turnaround time to switch over to uh, the, uh, the backup uh, data center during uh, working. The next question, after a suspect wire is reviewed and released uh, by Guardian, do you still uh, have to release the uh, wire within wire exchange? Uh, the answer is no, it's a fully integrated system. So you have an option to either release it from the wire exchange system or Guardian but essentially, if you release that from Guardian, it would send a, a, a real-time directive to the uh, wire exchange piece to move that into the next queue. It doesn't really go out to the Fed. Uh, there may be other processes like uh, a balance check and things like that, but there's no, uh, th no dual control required uh, to achieve this. Another one there, what's the difference uh, if I'm currently reviewing wire activity on fraud map uh, than this program? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I understand, but the, the fraud map is essentially our, uh, our older version of our solution, or, or rather, uh, we've uh, named, the pro uh, named the product now, we've renamed the product, it's no longer, we don't no, no longer use the word fraud map, but essentially it's the same solution, uh, so if you've already signed up, then, that, then that's awesome, it would ex it's exactly the same solution. Uh, the next one is, how do you catch BEC fraud if the real customer is tricked into submitting the wire? I think the classic example is the one we shared right now. Um, if you reached out to the customer based on some rules that you may have set up in, a, in another um, you know, process that you're using today, it is a rule that the bank set up. It's, uh, the, the risk factors actually provide a lot of content uh, for that wire transaction. And you kind of highlight, uh, you, when you call back with that context uh, you know, to your customer, you kind of highlight all the risk factors, highlighting why this is an anomalous behavior and uh, well, essentially convince them that, hey, you may want to run this by uh, your partner or your, uh, or your, uh, you know, your CEO or whoever got, who sent you that email, uh, essentially, uh, to wire that transaction out. And uh, that's, usually been, that's usually why it's been very helpful. It's the amount of context on the behavior anomalies that we see uh, that convinces the controller at, the, at, the, you know, at your customer to, you know, essentially cross-check with the originator for that wire, the partner or the uh, CEO, and uh, that uh, usually prevents that uh, transaction going out. 
There's another question, are, are reports available? While we didn't get into the details of it, but uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of great uh, reports are available right out of the box. All of the data, the alerts, the cases, uh, you know, trends on how the alerts have been on the, uh, uh, on, uh, you know, on your, on your, at, at your bank, all of this data can be exported, can be viewed on the risk application, and they can be sliced and diced across hundreds of parameters that we receive uh, from the wire exchange system. So, for example, if you want to just want to look at uh, I don't know, red and yellow alerts in the last one month, uh, you know, um, outgoing wires um, going out to Romania, and you could actually create that report very quickly and look at that alert and trending data over a period of time and export that information as well. So a lot of sophisticated reporting available on the application. The next one there, is this integrated into your online banking anomaly detection feature? The online banking activities could affect the risk score. Oh, the, the product we spoke about uh, is the Guardian Analytics wire solution, which uh, in isolation looks at uh, the entire wire payload only. It's not looking at the online activities. However, we do have an online version of the solution which looks at all factors leading up to uh, uh, the wire transaction, like maybe a suspicious login or a suspicious, a suspicious device, an IP, uh, the location for that user, all of that play a, play a role. And then going forward, we're looking at our omni-channel solution, which combines the online uh, protection and a wire solution into a single interface. Now, that would be a good source of data for looking at all of these risk factors on a single platform. Uh, the next one, since Guardian uh, integrates with Wire Exchange, can be assigned to multiple users. Uh, um, I'm assuming the question is uh, uh, about uh, assigning the alerts to multiple users. Now, if you are investigating an alert and if you wanted to create a case associated with it, uh, you could assign that case to uh, different members in the team. Uh, well, essentially uh, define a workflow for it uh, internally and then pass that on till uh, uh, you know. Uh, each, each uh, investigator can investigate a certain degree, maybe reach out to the customer, and then it could be promoted to a wire approver on the team, and that person could take a decision whether to cancel or release the wire. So a lot of flexibility in terms of roles and in terms of uh, workflow that can be defined within the risk application. I think that's uh, all the questions. That I've got yeah, so far. Uh, Lexa, over to you. Thank you, Anand. Um, thank you all for attending. That wraps up today's webinar. Um, again, thank you to Anand and Lorinda for a great presentation. Uh, we will follow up with you in the next few days with uh, a link to a recording of this presentation as well as the slides. And um, we hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and great weekend. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks. Bye.